It's a beautiful thing to think about the reality of what we're preparing ourselves for during Advent, the reality of Christmas. That Christ, that Christ came to earth explicitly to save us, to love us, to free us from our sins. You know, we, when, our, when we tell our kids why we celebrate Christmas, we say it's, it's Jesus' birthday, right? And like, that's true. That's a good way to kind of introduce your kids to the idea, right? But like, the much more profound reality, which is something that we should all kind of like let bleed into our lives, is that it's through this mystery of Christ coming to earth, of God, like, like, like the whole history of salvation is up us just messing up over and over again for thousands of years, right? Like us just biffing these covenants over and over again. Like empires are rising and falling around us, right? And here we are just holding this course of failure, right? Like holding this course of like, here's another way that you can, that you can be in relationship with me. Nope! Here's another thing that you can do to get good. Like, here's a nice law for you to follow. Here's a nice king for, to rule you. Nope, we just keep messing it up over and over and over and over and over again, right? Like, and that's, that's us. That's you and me messing it up over and over and over and over again. And we get to the point in history where God is like, guess what? I will be the one to save you. You cannot save yourselves. I will come, I will free you from those sins, and I do not do it reluctantly, I want to. I want you to experience this freedom. I am coming to save you, already I am near, soon I will free you from your sins.